we start tonight with KCRA 3 weather and a fall storm bringing rain to the valley and snow to the Sierra, causing some massive backups earlier tonight. Today's rain system brought some much needed rain to the valley, but it was in the high country where its impact was really felt. Here's a look at conditions along Highway 80 near Kingvale. This is a live look right now. This highway patrol was forced to shut down I-80 in both directions due to a high number of spinouts right now. Of course, you can see those snow covered roads, but uh, not a lot going on there. And here's a look at conditions on Highway 50 at Myers. There have been some chain requirements along the highway as well, and it looks like a lot of people playing it safe, staying off the road there. You can see uh, again snow packed roads there in the area of Highway 50 and Myers. We have team coverage of the Sierra snow tonight. We begin in case with case 3's Melanie Wingo. She's joining us live along I 80 in the Soda Springs area tonight. Melanie, how are things looking out there tonight? I know it was very backed up earlier when we talked to you. So backed up earlier and it was raining when we were speaking with you in the seven o'clock hour down by drum for Bay Road here in the Soda Springs area. We're seeing that snow was falling a little bit ago and it has accumulated quite a bit in this parking lot. And just as recently as within the last hour, we had a pretty heavy rain, excuse me, grapple and snow mix. So it was like a little bit of a snow pellet, if you will, and Mark can go into more detail about exactly what grapple is, but it was grapple and some snowflakes. And then the result you're seeing is in this parking lot here. And boy, what a mess. It still has not been plowed in this parking lot, which can accommodate some big rigs. And you can see that a lot of them have pulled off in this parking lot for the night. We've seen some vehicles that were stalled in this parking lot and needed to be towed out. Even some of the tow trucks are having a hard time because there's so much snow in this parking lot for this big first snowstorm of the season or first major snowstorm of the season, I should say. It has been a long afternoon for any of the drivers who have been out on Interstate 80. Take a look at some video that we shot earlier on Interstate 80. This backup stretched for miles and kept traffic at a standstill. Caltrans and CHP choosing to close the highway while they cleared some of those major crashes off of I-80 eastbound. We were stuck between Baxter and Blue Canyon and drivers really needed to uh, be patient out there because the backup kept people absolutely stopped. Then CHP and Caltrans had to turn around drivers at Drum 4 Bay Road shortly after 5 p.m. And then we finally got out of that jam, made it up here to the Soda Springs area. And we caught up with a snowplow driver who works for the town of Truckee, and he's been clearing roads for years now. He gave us an important reminder as we start to see snow in the Sierra and rough road conditions. As it is quite dangerous, there's a bunch of accidents. Uh, every time and snow accidents are they happen quickly and uh, they're, they're usually a lot of a lot of damage involved because you, you carry some speed and you and you go until you hit something that stops you like another car or a guardrail or something so you gotta you gotta be smart about it and say hey maybe I can go tomorrow. That is good advice. If you can wait and go tomorrow, go tomorrow or the next day or when the snow clears and back out live here. Caltrans always says it is a good idea to take a look at those quick map apps or websites for uh, Caltrans, those maps that are up there where you can see actual real time road conditions with the road cameras that are out there because it will help you plan your trip or again, help you plan to stay home if that is the case back in the parking lot here at this uh, Chevron station. This is pretty much what we have been seeing throughout the night. People coming to terms with the fact that, oh yeah, it is time to put those traction devices, those chains on their cars because a, it is required out on Interstate 80 in the parts that are not closed. And once you get out here is pretty much what CHP and Caltrans would say is too late to learn how to put those chains on your tires. So uh, if we head into the, the travel season here, the, the wintertime travel season, it is a good idea to carry those traction devices at all times because you just never know when you're going to need to put them on your car. Reporting live in Soda Springs, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. All right, Melanie, thank you so much for that close look. Stay safe up there. And KCRA 3 Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan is standing by tracking the snow and he joins us now.
now to let us know where it's coming down. Yeah, and, and another couple of things I thought about seeing a Melanie's report there. Now that we are into the season where we do get snow in the Sierra, the other thing to keep in mind is you saw the stop traffic and there will be days like this where to get from, let's say Roseville to Reno, it may take you five or six hours or longer. You might be stuck in traffic and you have to keep that in mind about how much gas you have in your car before you leave. Maybe have food with you and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's not a quick drive into the Sierra when we have days like today. We have been seeing lingering snow showers in the Sierra. The steadiest and heaviest snow was this afternoon and early this evening between about 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. when the best snow was coming down. The valley is now dry and yeah, we do have lingering snow in the Sierra, but it's not piling up as fast as it was earlier when it was coming down at one to two inches an hour. But as you can see here along Highway 4, still some snow. The snow level tonight has been just above 4,000 feet, about 4,500 feet on Highway 50. As you saw, chain controls. We also have chain controls on 88. Uh, if you're going past the Kirkwood area, you'll find chain controls there. And the same is true farther to the north in Placer, Nevada County. A couple of lingering rain showers here near the Grass Valley area, Nevada City, up Highway 20. You get to the 4,000 foot level, it changes over to snow. And again, light to moderate snow in the Sierra right now. We'll see more of this overnight. So I would think those chain controls will be up all night tomorrow morning and maybe even much of the day tomorrow. More on that in just a couple of minutes.